Hundreds of years ago, North America was mostly wild, wild open land. Native American tribes lived on the land. Each had its own language and special practices. The Crow are one Native American tribe most known for their ceremonies, handmade crafts. Let's learn more about these Native Americans. Crow Territory. The Crow tribe's early family members lived on the Great Plains for hundreds of years. Crow homelands were in what is now Wyoming and Montana. Since the 1800s, many Crow people lived out on reservations in Montana. The Home Life. The Crow people lived in teepees. These could be quickly taken down as the tribes moved. The teepees were made with buffalo high stretched over tree poles and each TB was a fire used to keep them warm inside. Smoke escaped from the hole at the top of the TP. What they ate. In the past the Crow people mostly ate buffalo meat. They also hunted big horn sheep, mountain goats, deer, elk and bear. Sometimes meat was roasted or boiled and the stew that with vegetables and herbs. Tribe members mixed dried, bait, mixed dried meat with nuts, berries to make a trail food called pepgam. The daily life. Crow men and women wore different styles of clothes, but they all had their long hair. The crow used grease to make their hair stay shiny. Women wore deer buffalo skin dresses. Everyone had warm leggings and masakins. Their clothes were decorated using elk teeth or shield shells, and tribe members often wore four robes in winter. Crow women prepared food, taking care of the home and made clothes. They also took care of the children. Men hunted animals and protected the tribes. Made by the hand. The crow made many objects by the hand. Often they used natural supplies. These arts, crafts added beauty to everyday life. The sweet grass, they braided it. The green grass, you got the stem pipe, the medicine bag, and you got the paint brushes. The spirit life, the vision quest was a part of the crow's tribe's spirit life. These seeking a vision prayed and fasted for days. They Then a spiritual guide visited a seeker in a vision. When the seeker gained power, he shared it in the men in the tribe. Storytellers. Storytellers were important to the Crow. Older tribe members told stories for fun to teach lessons. Like most other tribes, the Crow also had a creation story. Their creator asked for four ducks to bring mud up from the bottom of the lake. The first three ducks failed, but the fourth duck brought up some mud. The crow people were created from this mud. Fighting for land. For 2,200 years, Europeans and enemy tribes arrived in large numbers. They fought for the crow for control of hunting land, but the crow did not want violence, so they became friends with the settlers. Even after singing many treaties, the Crow still lost their land in 1851. The U.S. government began a Crow reservation. The tribe accepted a small piece of land in Montana in 1868. Finally, the Crow settled on their current reservation at Crow Agency in Montana. Back in time. The Crow today. The Crow had a long, rich history. Many remember the for beautiful bedwork, beadwork, crows roost, roots run deep. Today, the people held on to these special things to make them crow. Even through times have changed, many people carry on the traditions, stories, memories, past and the present. We may not know what may happen today, but let's act as we though. Seven stars 
Boy, the seven stars, Big Dipper, and the sky that live forever, go with me as far as you can, and I will go with you while there is breath in my body.